case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark 1948 case, the United States Supreme Court ruled on the issue of market power, specifically the illegal use of monopoly power to stifle competition. United States v. Griffith saw the government file a lawsuit against four corporations and two individuals affiliated with movie theaters in Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. They were accused of using their buying power to prevent competitors from operating by obtaining exclusive privileges, which goes against the Sherman Act. However, the district court initially dismissed the case, citing no violation of the law. Upon appeal, the case reached the Supreme Court which highlighted that 62% of the 85 towns in which the corporate appellees owned theaters were closed, leaving no room for competing theaters due to their exclusive privileges. These alleged violations occurred during a five-year period leading up to the complaint in 1939. The court subsequently remanded the case back to the district court to reconsider their findings on the violation of the Sherman Act based on the appellee's misuse of monopoly power. Ultimately, the Supreme Court argued that the district court erred in their dismissal due to the appellee's use of monopoly power to acquire exclusive film rights, violating the Sherman Act. This crucial case stands as a reminder of the importance of fostering fair competition within the market. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.